You okay, babe? <laughs> I'm very hungry. I just started, I don't know, I'm just tired and... I'm very hungry as well, but I'm not pregnant, so I'm not allowed to complain about being hungry. I just feel weak, and I kind of got up and just started doing stuff with Michelle this morning. I don't eat bananas. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, guys, we're headed to the NASA space station with the Dowsters. Very impromptu, but I'm super excited about it. We didn't plan on doing this. I had no idea they'd live right down the road from it. Guys, it's time to go in the car. Come on, guys. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, Symphony. That, that is, is so crazy. cool. There's a space shuttle. So Look at this one. This, is that a rocket? Yeah, it's an old rocket. Sputnik. Look at the NASA jets, guys. How cool is that? Welcome to the space station, guys. You ready to go to space? We're yeah. Gonna get in that big cool, We're going to get in that big <laughs> Check it out guys, it's a real astronaut. He's been standing here so long, he's petrified. Petrified astronaut. It's interesting that you have to pay for tickets because this is all, you know, tax paid for stuff. Hopefully this is private owned and they're not just trying to chip us up our, our money, even more of our money. We made it. Where do we start guys? Look at that thing, that thing's awesome. I just impressed. <laughs> she popped up out of seat. It's a meteorite, guys. Isn't that cool? This is the actual lectern that John Kennedy stood behind when he made his famous speech. Whoa, look at that guy in there. How cool is that? It's big! Whoa. No, that's a real guy. Is it? It's a ASTP model. Interesting. Wow. I don't know either. The Apollo Soyuz yeah. Test Project? Some kind of uh, model from the Apollo fan module or something or another. Oh wow, look, it's an alien sack. No, oh, wait. it's not. Is Aliens it? aren't real. It's a sn Snoopy, Snoopy cat. cat. That's even funnier. <laughs> yeah, watch out for baby cat. That is really cool. Man, this has got some cool stuff out here. Daddy, guess what my favorite kind of water ship is? Space shuttle! Yeah? This one's like made of like stainless steel or something. Jules, get out from there. What are you doing? Get out of here. Whoa, guys, check this out. This is how the modules connected together. What? The world? It's so amazing. And then it plugs into there. Yeah, that's awesome. What do the astronauts carry as a backup to their primary onboard computer? I would say suit. I'd say a calculator. Oh, it's, it says... The HP 63, yep. I was right, and I didn't even cheat. Oh, You're always working. Right. <laughs> 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 I doing the flip. Yeah, no. The guy was modeling after. Right. It's like, what? Did you cry? No, not that time. I got a little emotional, but I didn't cry. These pregnancies make it really emotional here at the NASA Space Station. Well, I'm just amazed at what they were able to pull off every time. I know, watch them in the video, like, celebrate the landing. I don't know, it's just so cool. This is cool. Do you want to sit in it? Wow, look at little astronaut symphony. What are you doing, Sam? I'm defeating gravity with energy. Oh, you think you so? Defeat. It does not smell very good in here. Oh! What is this going on over here? Angry Bird game? Oh, you have to slide then. Okay. What's Joel playing over here? Capture the satellite. Mom, Daddy, I'm Get the satellite. Going. You get it? I'm giving the satellite a bug, and it's drifting away. There it goes. Capture the satellite, bud. Hi, Josie. I see you. You ready to go to Mars, bud? Why don't you step on the, the red and you're going to Mars? Welcome to Mars. Just watch out for the aliens, because a lot of aliens are on Mars, okay? Daddy, everybody knows there's no aliens on Mars. There's Martians on Mars. Oh, right. <laughs> What's up, Jules? Wow. You smashed it. Let me see. I used to love getting these at places. That is so cool. What's it a picture of? This thing, Space Look. Center Houston. 
Houston. Sydney, you pick your picture first. Abram got the space station. Who wants the astronaut? You want the astronaut? Line up the arrow. Line it up. There. Right there. There. Ooh. I got the astronaut. Is that what you chose? Um, that is so cool, Symphony. Yay, guys, come on, let's aboard the train. Oh, nice. He just said nothing can prepare us for what's inside this building. Is it inside the building? I'm expecting a rocket. You think so? We'll see. What are you guys expecting to be in this building? I'm expecting 10 million teeny tiny rockets lined up and stacked. <laughs> You're so cute, Yo, bud. Lined up and stacked. Oh, yeah. Holy mackerel. Look at that monster. These are J2 engines, and they're a little bit different since they did use different rocket fuel. But also, they have these. So, once they're ready, they're going to use what they call the slingshot maneuver, which, if you've seen the movie The Martian, you've probably heard about this. It's using that celestial body's uh, gravity to catch the most velocity. Once you have that velocity, you're going to kick on those engines and that's going to slingshot you towards whatever celestial body that you're aiming for. This is Bo and Shell taking a picture of a rocket ship. It's so crazy that most of this, this space inside of all these rockets is the whole field. It's just insane, like massive tanks. So, what'd you guys learn? We learned about rockets. Oh, oh, this girl stayed up until midnight. Oh. And then she got up at seven. Yes, so did you. She got up at seven. She hasn't had a nap. She's just so tired. That's the end of the space tours. You guys did good. We made it. This part of that tour was taken off by a mask after it was all over. It was just like experiencing the feeling of freedom all over again. Jules, that's not our car. Come on. Oh, poor sleepy baby. I'll bring her up, Symphony. Okay. Get all the way back. There we go. Maybe. That's a good sister. I hope she doesn't go. Oh, oh gosh! <laughs> it looks so funny. Put it back up. Fast. Bird just fall. Somebody be gentle. Just hold your hand up though for the thing. She's so cute. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> That's a face only a mommy can know. What? No way. Anybody can love that face. We made it back to Bone Chills. Going without me, babe. I'll wait in the car with Jules. That poor baby. She needs a nap. She needs She's pooped. Look how pretty Bone Chills' house is, guys. It's so pretty. Did such a good job choosing this place. Such a pretty neighborhood, too. It's funny they got in a cul de sac like they had before. The previous home was in a cul-de-sac. So I wasn't terribly impressed by that tour. What do you guys think? A lot of things were shut down. We didn't get to experience the full thing because of COVID-19 and all the restrictions right now, but it was cool. I love everything space, but I think maybe the heat, the mask, the restrictions took away from that. You know, it was great being there with our friends. It's crazy. Um, I was thinking about First Man. I remember watching that movie. In fact, I own it. I watched it multiple times. It's such a great movie if you guys hasn't, haven't seen it. It's about Neil Armstrong's journey to the moon and what he risked to make that happen. The great acting. What was great about it is it makes you feel like you were in those old, very mechanical spaceships that they used to be in extremely bumpy and if you watch it on the big screen especially and you hear that just the sound that they they did the, the sound art they did on that movie was just incredible it's such a great movie i love the ending especially because when neil armstrong steps on the moon nothing changes like how can you you can't really achieve anything more than stepping on the moon right that's like the peak of what man has achieved at that time and i think I still achieved. We can't do much else. I mean, maybe Mars, but as far as like a man-made, what's Abram doing? I gotta lock the doors before Abram tries to get in here and wake up Jules. You know, a man-made accomplishment. And you see, he throws something to a crater at the end, and then a tear comes down his eye, and you could just tell that it, it was all just kind of pointless. He risked all that for this accomplishment, but still left him with who he is, which was broken from losing his daughter to um, a brain tumor. A lot of people were upset that it showed them plant the American flag in the moon. I didn't really care too much about those, whatever. They actually did sh show the American flag in the movie. What I didn't like is they didn't show Buzz, who was actually in, in the lunar landing thing, actually taking communion and actually doing something extremely meaningful and recognizing the vastness of God 
and the opportunity he gave him to be there on the moon and to see his wonder up in space so far from the earth and to see how limitless God is. And it's a bummer they left that out. Obviously that's too meaningful for Hollywood to leave in there. Hey Jules. Josie, let's go inside. Hold your head up. Uh, uh. Come on, let's go inside, baby. You okay? Come to daddy. What? Uh, what? I'm so oh, you're so thirsty? Let's go get some water inside. Kids are in the pool now. I want to see you float on your back. This guy does a good job floating on his back. Look at this guy. Look at all that hair. Looks like a baby Jesus. What'd you find, Jules? Oh, of course, you're going somewhere you're not meant to go. Get over here. Come on. Dude, that's, that's